Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about the property triggers in context of triggers which we have mentioned in our previous video. So now, here in case of property triggers, we are actually going to deal with the dependency properties at runtime. Means we can pass some conditions and as soon as that particular condition is true, we can modify one or multiple dependency properties at once. So let's see a practical implementation where we are going to see a very simple example of the property triggers. Alright, so here we are going to see about the property trigger. So for implementing that, as you can see, I have already added a button out here. Now I will go and will do some changes in the implementation of this button. So basically what I'm going to do, I am going to prepare a style for this button and along with that style, as I said, that trigger is deeply related with this style. Along with this style, I will prepare a trigger for the same button. So for implementing, let's come to the XAML here and right here in the window resources, what I'm going to do, I will prepare some set of styles. So let's see what I have done. So as we have already seen about the style, right? So inside Windows, Windows resources, I put a style tag, I put a key so that it will not be default one and target type is button, which I have already taken. Now by default, you can see the, there is a setter property, all right, foreground is blue. So now when I'll see the button, the color of that should be blue but since it is not the implicit first i'll have to set it as the resource which i'll do later now after that as you know you can set as many as set properties out here after that what i have done is i put style dot triggers all right so basically from here onwards the trigger implementation is beginning now inside this i put a trigger for which property for whenever there is a is mouse over means when you are putting the mouse over the button and when the is mouse over property is true in the previous video when we were discussing about the trigger i told that it will be working at the time when the condition will be true so when is mouse over will be true then the setter will be applied to the button all right to any button where you are going to set this style all right, so let's see how to do that. So I'm putting this style out here. So style is equal to static resource. You can see everything is as same. All right, everything is here same. So it is trigger style. So let's see it in the design first. So the font is blue because here I set the foreground as blue, but Obviously, mouse over will be taking place at the runtime because trigger is all about the execution time things. But before executing it, I just have to make some changes. Uh, all right, so both for background. So now background will be green and foreground will be white. So now I'll start the execution. And you see, now it is getting affected. All right, so the background is green because it has its own style. So that's why you cannot see it the exact green color out there, but yes, it is a mixture of the green and uh, the default color provided by the WPF. But that's why I changed the foreground as well so that you can see it's getting changed to white when I'm putting the mouse over it. All right. So this is the thing like which you can apply while working with the property triggers in WPF.